Kathy couldn't take it anymore. I gotta get my hair cut. Out of control. Kathy's been cutting my hair for 26 years. Imagine how much money I've been saving. It's probably about 10,000 bucks in haircuts. Easy. It all depends on who you go to. Well, you know what, then you should pay me that $10,000. Whoops. I could buy my new Jeep. <laughs> Today, I gotta work on uh, the, the the new card for the next Wheels and Waves show. And requires something a little bit different because I'm gonna be doing what I'm calling holiday hot rods. And that's a, uh, a unique, hopefully, kind of hot rod that will be used for the card, but also uh, I'll be giving away signed prints at the show. The theme this year uh, for October, obviously, is Halloween, so I gotta come up with a, a vehicle, so I'm gonna sketch that out today to start to build that idea. You ready? Are you ready? Taking a break. Was drawing for a little while, but now we're gonna go to the beach. Right? What are you doing? We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna yeah. go to the beach? We're gonna go. hot. Oh my god. All right, this is vlog 449 and I feel like a reporter. Why? Just the way I said that. We're gonna head to a beach that we haven't been to in a while. We were gonna have a picnic but uh, I got hungry. Yeah, we were starving too much. So we're just gonna go bring the boogie board, see if we can catch a few little waves, take a little break. It's awesome. Going. I don't really know. I just saw beach access. We're going to a beach access we've never been to before. Because Kathy wants to. That's what we just did. There is nobody on this beach. It's amazing. Hey, Tim, you alive? Ah. 
This is Escondido Beach, which is just north of Joffrey's kind of kind of secret entrance-ish a little bit. Actually, it's right below Joffrey's. I think it's like 100 steps. That's Joffrey's. Yes, think. it's just below Joffrey's, but yeah. there is nobody, there is. pretty much nobody in either direction. Time for the long haul back up. One, two, three, four, nine, forty. One, forty two, forty three. Twenty two, one twenty three. One thirty. Woo! One hundred and thirty. Thirty. One hundred and thirty, but we're not done. Nothing like a good sized workout this morning. And a good size swim. And then, how many steps? Oh, 140. About 140 steps. Not too bad. <laughs> this is the secret entrance at Joffrey's, the restaurant. It's pretty awesome. And I run into Ramon, who's got a sick little Volkswagen. Gorgeous car. Oh, thanks. It's a 65 uh, Volkswagen. Well, uh, I had somebody else paint it for me okay. you know, about eight years ago or so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the upholstery, you know, a friend of mine did it up in uh, uh, Southgate. Uh, last night I was up to like three o'clock in the morning, you know, fine tuning. Yeah. I uh, removed the uh, condenser, the points, you yeah. know, and yeah. I went into uh, uh, electronic emission. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Why this car? What, what's so important about this car for you? I just feels good because I feel I feel one back in '82. Yeah, that was my first car, oh, first yeah. 1966 nice. Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of brings back memories. I kind of get want to get back into it again. Yeah. You know? So where are you driving from? I'm driving from Los Angeles. Just by LAX. Just, yeah. come on just up. cruising and yeah. stuff. Today's my day off. It's too, it's too hot to be out there, man. <laughs> I know it's, it's gorgeous nice out here, yeah, man. Yeah, you go, know, nice wind and everything. That's yeah. just where we were. Yeah. Yeah. Park this thing, get some photos. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, Ron. Great job. Looks really good. Thank you. like like hot hot uh, not as hot as yesterday 102 yesterday 90 today uh, it's still hot you know between you and me sweating had to spend most of the day you know in cool places
places, it's nice that we have a really big swimming pool. You know what I mean? Like, huge swimming pool. Doesn't matter where you swim. It's just, it's all like, you know, there's not really a shallow end and a deep end. There's a tiny, tiny little shallow end and then a seriously deep end. Spent some time working on the sketch. I'll show that to you tomorrow. Can't see that right now. Not really finished, finished with it yet. I'm gonna adapt that to the Wheels and Waves card. It's gonna look sick. It's gonna look really good. So I'm, I'm stoked about it. I'm excited. Uh, special holiday hot rod coming. Okay, I have a request. And the request is those of you that may have come to Wheels and Waves or Malibu Cars and Coffee, any of the shows that I go, uh, kind of go to frequently and uh, my show, anybody else's show, I'm looking for a hot rod. I'm looking for a very specific, unique kind of hot rod. And what I need to do is that there is going to be an event happening at Art Center College of Design on October 5th. And we're going to be bringing several cars, a couple from the Automobile Driving Museum. Ken's going to be bringing his Porsche. But we're going to be talking to the Transportation Design Department, uh, kind of giving them an idea of what car culture is like. So it's a good give. It's uh, we're gonna go out. Uh, we're gonna hang out with the students. We're gonna get some lunch. Uh, they're providing lunch, and, and uh, anybody who's bringing a car. I'm looking for a hot rod, but not just any normal hot rod. Something extreme. I'm looking for something wacko, something crazy. Um, it is in Pasadena, so if you uh, have a day open on October 5th and you want to come up and you want to share your car with the faculty and with all the students, there should be maybe a hundred people up there. Contact me uh, in one of the ways through the website or through email, through Facebook some way and tell me that you got the, a very cool hot rod that you'd like to share. Because the whole point of an event like that is to inspire the students, uh, to inspire those kids to become good designers and to think out of the box. And and Art Center wants to incorporate more car culture as well as car design into some of the, the curriculum, some of the things that they do. So they asked me to, to kind of wrangle some of these cars and we're going to be doing that. Uh, I'm also going to be a judge at the Car Classic, which is on the 23rd. So I'll get a chance to bring you guys and kind of show you that show. But like I said, if you have a hot rod and you think it's really cool, you think it's amazing, maybe shoot me uh, an email, send me a photo of the car. We're, like I said, we're looking for something extreme, not a traditional, you know, uh, uh, you know, red normal hot rod, even a rat rod, even something that is just wicked, crazy, interesting, different. Okay, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow we're going to be heading back up to the Murphy Automotive Museum. They have a cool car they're going to give to me to drive for a week. We got a bunch of events and things that are that are going on. Thursday I'm going to Calamingus Ranch out in Malibu, uh, here in Malibu, and we're going to be driving some Jeeps. Then on the weekend we got a Cars and Coffee, a special place, I'm not going to tell you where it is. And then Sunday there's an event up at the Murphy again, which is all about station wagons. I love it! All right, I will see you then. And so will this doodle. See it right there? Not gonna show you. <laughs>